Now hear this. Uh, a, 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 a witch doctor, some people call them native doctors, share this testimony with us that at the time they have uh, people's name in their shrine, in their altar, people brought those people because uh, those people have issues with them. The person could be owing them, but could be competing with them in business or just out of sheer hatred so that they can control the person's destiny. There's some people who also have been taken there by women who wanted to get married to them or whatever reason. On just want to punish the people, and what this uh, we doctors do is that they take the people's name and tie them up in a standing covenant. At times they lock them with a padlock and they keep them at their altar. At times they put them in a in a basket that is over the heat of fire. So as the smoke of the fire is touching that basket, we are the people's life. Uh, they do all kinds of things. At times the people are tied down and chained. At times they take their business cards and pin them somewhere. To bind them. Now the process to do this exercise costs money. And so when people come, maybe they are angry, they are embittered, they do such rituals and they put them there. And to terminate the rituals, in case you say you don't want them anymore, it will also cost money. Now we just said that when people put people there, at the time they go, they even forget the people there. They don't even remember that they kept anybody there. So of them go and regret what they have done and they give their life to Christ, they repent and they go away. But the people they brought there and the things they did, they are, they are still there. Some of them, out of sheer hatred, want to just leave people there to suffer for life. Now, if the weak doctor cannot reverse such rituals, because uh, there are financial implications and spiritual implications. So how would they now go and spend so much money to terminate such satanic rituals? Uh, something that uh, he did not initiate in the first place, and that's where he sees it. The consequence of it is that there are many people who are there who are suffering. You go there, you see people whose name are inside of a bottle. They tie person, put person's name in a bottle and lock the bottle. You see, sometimes they brought two uh, dolls, uh, what they call doll baby here, and tie it down. It's when they are tied down there that you see somebody's complimentary can be pin somewhere. All those people are struggling in different ways of life. And the sad thing is that they don't know where their problem is coming from. Now, he said something that very, very interesting. I want to take note of. He said that anytime he notices that suddenly fire breaks out and the, the, the basket or whatever it is gets, gets burnt, or the bottle in which he put a name explodes, or the, the padlock and lock explodes with great force. He knows that that person has gone to see a very powerful man of God, or the person is in the prayer meeting. Now, that is why I want to invite you to our conference, International Prayer River Conference in Yaoundé. It starts from the 17th to the 22nd of April, 2023. It will have happen in Yaoundé. The advert of this program is on this video. Now, in the morning session of this conference, from 6 a.m. to 7.30 a.m., starting from the 12th, uh, 17th of April to the 2nd of April, we call them breakthrough prayers. Now, in these prayers, I personally will believe in you. I will believe in these prayers, and for these six days, we testify our prayers, and we're going to pray those kind of prayers that that which doctor said the prayers people. Now, some people do some warfare prayers, but they don't understand the principle of warfare prayers. They just keep saying, any wish in my father's house, all those kind of things, die, die, die. Let me tell you, there are principles in spiritual warfare prayers. And only when you apply such principles do you get a result. That is why I'm inviting you to this conference. International Prayer Remember Conference in Yaoundé from the 17th of April to the 2nd of April. This, there are three sessions actually. The one from 6 a.m. in the morning to 7.30 a.m. is the one I am personally inviting you. If you are a businessman, if you are a married person, maybe you are looking for fruit of the womb, or maybe your life is just in shambles. Come to this prayer. Now there's another section in on, on Thursday from 10 a.m. to 5 a.m. I will have a special fire conference for pastors. 
no matter what is the issue with you as a man of God, if you come around, I personally will teach you. I have put you more than 30 years in the ministry. I have written more than 45 books. I meant, I mentor and I have raised men of God. Many are passed by the shepherd's road. I will bring you this experience now to teach you, to prepare you for effective ministry. And after you have passed through these three days of training, your life will never remain the same. Then, from that 17th of April to the 22nd of April, we have the evening session. Oh my God, you don't need, you don't need to miss this. They have been teaching their way power. The capture of this program is, Oh Lord, I need your power. In this program, you will encounter that power for deliverance, for freedom, from healing, for release, for breakthrough. You will encounter the power for empowerment alive. You will encounter those power for spiritual development and growth. That is why I am inviting you. My name is Pastor Ima Angel Mosu, the international president of Prayer Network of Universal Revival. I am making the invitation personally. Be my guest.